Christ Jesus. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Praise Jesus. Somebody's still sleeping. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. They say I bounce around too much, so they have to strap me with a, with a cord to keep me in check here. Man of God, we appreciate. We truly, truly appreciate you, parents, for the sacrifices you make day in, day out to, to raise these children to the best of your ability in the Word of God. Just give us a few minutes. They want to set up this area for um, the kids because it's their day. Amen. Just 13, 13, 13, 13. Okay, 13, 1, 3. Thank you, thank you. Uh, about um, 26 preachers. We've got to make room for them. They're doing the preaching today. Hallelujah. I'm just uh, trying my best to coordinate. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. The, um, the kids have been I asked one of them the other day, is there a difference? Can you say you are the same when you started coming and now? The kids said, yes, there's a difference. I'm learning stuff. And I truly can see a difference in their attitudes or their ten. You know, when you have boys like me, <laughs> it's always challenging raising boys. How many of you know that? If you ever had a boys, oh, boy, boy, boy. Are they rascally? I'm just running my mouth until we have this thing set for the kids. So, but there has been a, a vast, vast, there has been a, there has been a vast difference in a lot of them, and I'm sure the parents also um, feel the difference in their kids. It's interesting that so many things have been going through my head because we have such a large group by the grace of God. Can you believe that? We started off with about five, maybe seven kids. Oh, that. About 35 kids. Praise Jesus. That's amazing. They can almost start a church of their own. Amen? And I tell you what, some of them are going to be preachers. Amen? All right. Are my kids ready? Yes. All right. Please. Dear my family, Help me welcome the next generation of preachers, ambassadors, singers, praise worshippers who blast the kingdom of darkness, pulling them out and translating them through their voice, through their actions into the kingdom of God. Help me welcome the next generation of ambassadors for Jesus. Oh, come on, give me a hand. Give him a hand. Okay? One, two, three.
Go, come on, kids. Okay, sing. Sit down. Sing. And come. Not forsake them, do not forsake them, for such is the kingdom. Let's not let them use it. Let them use their voice. I give them my. Touch the kingdom. All right. Praise God. Now they're going to sing it themselves. Come, let the children come, let the children come to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's funny. Praise God. Now, sometimes we wonder if we are making an impact within the setting on the very little ones. My little Hello. granddaughter walked up to me Destiny. and she goes Pastor Peter Pastor Peter when are we going to sing she's so sweet 
I was taken aback. Praise ye the Lord. Please help me welcome up here my own and only Keoma Ibeji. She literally walked up to me. She goes, Pastor Peter, when are we going to sing? She's so sweet. So you imagine, are they getting something? There's something that must have been going on through their mind, through her mind. The little one, where is she? The other one, um, desire. The parents were telling me at home, she goes singing. What's that song she sang? Trust and obey, for there's no other way. Around the house. You think it's making a difference? Oh, absolutely. So please join us as we sing. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Please let us rise as we sing this theme led by Keoma Ibeji. Can I get the code and please put it up on the screen? Thank you. Back there. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Isn't it to trust in Jesus? Amen. She sings the chorus. All right. Okay, organist, help me. He's so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon.
job. Could you give a hand clap? Hallelujah. I want us to rise up, please. We thank the Lord for his manifold blessings and mercies upon us, upon this upon the parents, the society that we live today that is so challenging to raise children. Where the right is called wrong, and the wrong called right. That is the grace. Give the children the grace. I believe this generation make a difference in the name of Jesus. I said, I believe this generation will make a difference in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we thank and exalt your name for thou art. You are the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Nothing is happenstance with you. Everything is ordered by you from beginning. Our uprising, our down sitting, you have known. Because you said the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. I believe that these children, the gates of hell will not prevail against them in the name of Jesus. I want you to please press, stretch your hand. A prayer that goes forth here. The Bible says the words that we speak, they are spirit and they are power. They were called the curtains that you establish upon them in the name of Jesus. have spoken. Life, health, obedience to these children, so it shall be established in the name of Jesus. Nothing will be added to it in the name of Jesus. The plans of the enemy concerning them will not see the light of day in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy will pursue them, follow them all the days of their life. Like the walls, the walls around Jerusalem, so the Lord will build a wall around each of them. If those that are not here, according to my word, it is so in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. And everybody said, Thank you. Please be seated. The topic that these children are going to lead us through this today is being led by God. Being led by the Holy Spirit. Praise ye the Lord. We have we had started in the book of um, Exodus and discussions as we had it has led us through the book of Samuel. I'm going to have my young preacher man help me welcome Victor Okorunkwa up here. He's going to summarize Samuel. Tell us what you're going to do. Right? Thank you, Victor. Good morning, everyone. 
beginning of first Sam chapter one, it says that a man named Elkanah goes up to the priest Eli to take his sacrifice and give his portion to his two wives and his children. His two wives' names are Penina and Hannah. Penina has children by her own husband. So because of this, Penina makes fun of making her weep and cry every day at every time. One year, Elkanah asks, asks his son, why, why is she crying? And why does she not eat? And she says, it's because she has no children. Because of this, she prays to the Lord and says, that if uh, God gives her a child, give him unto the Lord. The prayer is answered. And because of this, Hannah prays more often and rejoices unto the Lord. And the child is named Samuel. When Samuel is about four, given unto priest Eli, the minister unto the Lord. And in chapter 3, verse 1, it says, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. By open vision, they mean that um, he could not see the Lord or hear from him, only read the Bible and learn from Eli. Until one night, while Samuel was sleeping, God was calling out to him. And every time he heard him, he thought his master Eli was talking to him. So he went to him and asked him why he was calling him. And about the fourth time he did this, Eli told him that it was the Lord he was, that was calling him. And to ask him to speak to him. Because the Lord is the gentleman and will not force any words unto them unto anyone. So Samuel answered, and he said unto Samuel that the Lord was going to persecute Eli's children because Eli has not disciplined them in so that they will follow the Lord. And Samuel feared to tell Eli these things. That's all. John, give my hand. Amen. Now, Eli was a very small kid when it was when uh, Hannah. Sorry, Samuel. fulfilled her, gave him to uh, Eli, based on the promise she made. Question to all of you. Who, there are three, who was Samuel's master, teacher, or mentor, however you want to call it, okay? Who was he? Yes. Who was he? Eli. What's your name, by the way? Tell us. We want to know. Could stand up. And what's your name? Kelchi. Okay. And who was that? Eli. Eli was. Now. What were Eli's children's name? What were Eli's children's name? Promise? What were Eli's children's name? Hmm? 
Hmm? Hoffnung. 1K? Hoffnung. Yes. Awesome. Hoffnung and Phoenix. Good job. Were they boys or girls? Huh? Were they boys or girls? Yes? Or what? There were two boys. Praise you, the Lord. All right. This question goes to um, Ikena. In what ways did God reveal himself, Ikena, to Samuel? In what basic ways, if you could break it down, did he reveal himself to Samuel. Come on, man. You know, you know. His vision and his teaching and, and his voice. Again? I say his teaching and his teaching. His teacher and a vision and his voice. His, his teacher, he got to know God's voice in a vision and the voice. Did he get it right? How did this happen? Do you remember the story? Go ahead, tell us. kept hearing a voice and and kept going to Eli and and because he thought it was Eli who was calling him and Eli while he was calling him I think he asked him three times and on the third time Eli told him that it was God. So he, he learned to know God's voice through his teacher, his mentor called Eli. Now, Joel Ann, in what ways has God revealed himself at various times to his people in the Bible? Joel Ann? Like when Jacob had the dream of the angels going up and down the ladder, and also uh, how Abraham taught Isaac the way of the Lord, and also the way God talked to Moses through the burning bush. Amen. So God speaks, leads his people in diverse ways, through visions, through dream, audible voice, and through our teachers, our mentors. Christina, what is the name of Samuel's father? What's the name of Samuel's father? Christina? What's the name of Samuel's father? Do you remember? Huh? You forgot? Or you remember? What's the name? You remembered. You told me that before. Can somebody help her? And, uh... All right. Now, Elkanah.
This question goes to Obina. What are the names of Elkanah's wives? First, how many wives did he have? How many? He had two wives. What are their names? That question goes to Where's Obina? Obina, did you pass him the mic? Pass him the mic. Pass the cordless mic to him. Come on, give it. Where's Obina? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, Obina. The names of Okana's wives is Panina and Hannah. Um, Han Nah. As, um, okay. Now, the next question goes to Chidi. Oh, you know what? Are your parents your teachers? How many of you say yes? Oh. Are your parents yes? How many of you say no? So, parents are your teachers. All right. Give yourselves a hand clap. So, Meshana, who was Samuel's teacher? Meshana, who was Samuel's teacher. I, what? Eli. Give my hand clap. He said, she said, he said, Eli. Awesome. Now, what command, this question goes to Peculiar. Pass her the mic, please. This question goes to Peculiar. What command did God give to parents concerning their children? What command did God give to parents concerning their children? Yes. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Good job. Where can you find that? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. I didn't hear you. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. I think... I think we learned a song like that. Am I correct? I'm going to call you up here. Come teach us that song. Come here. All right. I don't want to teach us the song, right? You want to teach us the song? One. Everybody stand up. All the kids stand up. One. Go. Train up a child in the way he should go. Train up a child in the way he should go. 